Welcome to another episode of Dorian's Desserts. With me here today, I have Justin. We are going to be making fresh strawberry cupcakes. I'm not gonna make the recipe as it's written. I'm gonna substitute some ingredients like whole grain flour, but I am gonna show you guys both recipes. So if it doesn't work like at all, you guys know exactly what to do to make it actually work. Let's get started. If I'm a bad person, you don't like me. Well, I guess I'll make my own way. It's a circle, a mean cycle. I can't excite you anymore. Where's your gavel? Your jury. What's my offense this time? You're not a judge, but if you're gonna judge me, well, sentence me to another. So we just finished the cupcakes. They just came out of the oven. They have to cool for 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the icing. That also requires strawberries. So I hope your assistants didn't eat them all while the camera was on. That's how you make strawberry cupcakes, and that's not how you make strawberry icing. I throw my hands up, I've already made my mind up. Never get down on my luck, never get down on my hands up. I've already made my mind up. Sorry, I messed your life up. Good morning. Welcome to your accent for Friday, March 22nd. I'm Billy Beard here with Keyshawn Dorsey. Let's get it started. Students. If you plan to take College Credit Plus classes next year, the deadline to register is today. Remember, you must register for Stark State, take the Accuplacer, and turn in all paperwork to the Guidance Office. If you still need to take the Accuplacer, you can sign up in the Guidance Office. It's that time of the year again. Prom is just around the corner. Please join the class of 2019 as they host the Great Gatsby Prom on Saturday, May 11th at 7 p.m. It's a Roaring Twenties theme and will definitely be a blast. Tickets go on sale Monday, April 1st for seniors and then April 8th for juniors. Tickets are $40 a piece. You can buy your tickets from Ms. Fromholtz after school only in room C202. The last day to buy tickets is Thursday, April 18th. Just a reminder that all of your school fines must be paid before you can purchase a ticket. If you are bringing a date from another school, see Ms. Fromholtz ahead of time for the required form. It must be filled out before you purchase their ticket. Juniors. Sign up to take the June ACT and use a free waiver. There may not be free waivers next year. Get your waiver in the guidance office from Ms. Kara. All juniors must have their ACT testing done prior to starting your senior year. Are you interested in traveling to France with the French Club in 2020? There will be an informational meeting for students and parents in room C200 at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, April 2nd. If you have any questions, please see Madame Hoffman. To all senior cheerleaders attending college in the fall, the Maslin Tiger Cheerleading Scholarship is now available. Please pick up your application in the guidance office. To all seniors on the Tiger Shark swim team who are attending college in the fall, 
The Doug Sorg Scholarship and the Ryan C. Hannon Memorial Scholarship are now available. Please pick up your applications in the guidance office. And this is a reminder to all seniors. Remember to check the scholarship page every week for new scholarships. One of the more interesting minor holidays every year is April Fool's Day. And this year, it just so happens that April 1st is on the Monday we come back following spring break. Because we won't have accent on April 1st, we here at WHS-TV are proud to present a short feature today on the origin of April Fool's Day. Check it out. April Fools, a day of jokes, pranks, and shenanigans, known not only in the U.S., but through many parts of the world. Some historians believe the April Fools customs began in France, although no one knows for sure. It may stem from a calendar change in 16th century France when they moved New Year's Day from April 1st to January 1st, when the Gregorian calendar was adopted. People who continued to celebrate New Year's Day on April 1st, rather than the new date of January 1st, were referred to as April Fools, and others played tricks on them. Although many parts of the world may celebrate April Fool's Day, everyone celebrates it a little differently. For example, in France, the holiday is referred to as Poison de Avril, where French children fool each other by taping a paper fish to each other's back. When the fool discovers the fish, the prank prankster yells, Poison de Avril. In Scotland, their April Fool's last two days, and the second day is known as Tally Day. And pranks involving the backside are commonly used by Scottish pranksters. Supposedly, this is where the kick me sign originated. In England and Canada, pranks are only played in the morning of April 1st. One of the most successful pranks of all time is referred to as the Swiss Spaghetti Harvest. The respected BBC news show, Panorama, announced that thanks to a very mild winter and the virtual elimination of the dreaded spaghetti weevil, Swiss farmers were enjoying a bumper spaghetti crop. It accompanied this announcement with footage of Swiss peasants pulling strands of spaghetti down from trees. Huge numbers of viewers were taken in. In fact, many called the BBC wanting to know how they could grow their own spaghetti tree. Today's lunch is a chicken patty sandwich, sugar snap peas, maple cinnamon carrots, and fruit. Happy birthday to Juliana Mattern, Jameer Thomas, and Hunter Watts. That's all for your accent. I'm Keyshawn, here with Billy. Have a safe spring break. We'll see you back Wednesday, April 3rd.